Hello, and uh, welcome to my just quick run through of Vinyl Goddess from Mars. So, uh, I'm Rob Draven, and enjoy the game. I'll kind of talk you through it as we go. No, my well, sir. Uh, enjoy the uh, eye candy on here. Uh, so we'll quickly just kind of go through a couple, uh, couple early things. Um, you know, while we're looking at this right now, let's look at the credits. Uh, this is game. This is a game that came out in I think it was '95, and it, it's just a standard platformer. But uh, we'll go to the credits first. Get the people who made this a little bit of credit. And there's your credits, folks. So yeah, this game itself was made by four people with two uh, two special thanks. Um, so yeah, th this was, so this is kind of how this game is gonna lay out. This tells you kind of, I mean, small studio that did this. So we'll go ahead and go out. I'll show the order info after, but let's go ahead and go into the story behind Vital Goddess. From Mars. So, in the year 200 billion, a small ship races across the galaxy, taking the vital goddess from Mars to the esteemed intergalactic B movie convention. In mid transit, a meteor shower strikes without warning, and the ship is engulfed in a sea of rocks and debris. Badly damaged by the cosmic storm, the ship careens off course. Desperately, the vital goddess twists knobs and pulls levers to regain control. The best that she can hope for is to eject and let the ship crash land on the strange planet below. It's up to you to help the lovely goddess find and repair her ship and collect all of her belongings before it's too late to reach the convention. Good luck, space cadets! Yes, that's pretty cheesy. So actually, a little bit, little bit more background on this game. This actually was presented uh, as a sequel to Jill of the Jungle originally. This was this was supposed to be like the concept was Jill of the Jungle two, and it was completely shot down, and so that's why this game was made. So we'll go ahead and get into the first episode. So I will be playing this playing this on easy since well I'm. That's actually what what I'm good at. I want to make sure we get a good playthrough. And just to kick back and enjoy the game. So, first level. So, this is a simple game. Um, I just picked up a weapon. So, left, right. Up looks up. Down looks down. So, you know, so there's some stuff down. There's a secret passage over there. Or possibly something else. Um, but yeah, it's like control jumps. Uh, alt shoots your weapon. Uh, you notice that she's very, very slidey in her vinyl boots. Uh, me and my, me and my uh, siblings growing up played this, and we called this the Vinyl Dance. <laughs> uh, again, this is, to be honest, the sprite is pure eye candy. Another interesting trick is that she can slide up and down the, uh, the vine if you want. Um, she climbs like that. Uh, the reason why she's, the way to make her do that is if you hold up and down at the same time, up take the up action takes precedence but the uh the uh down action like for some reason the animation gets borked so uh as you can see i'm picking up these uh weird things i'm gonna go over here into the secret passage yeah these weird open and shut things these are like pieces of her ship or like her belongings uh they're not really crucial to the game like you could go through the game and pick up minimal and everything will be fine. They're really just uh, gimmicks, gimmicks for points. Uh, at the end of every level, you are given a set number of points, or you're given some points based on the number of number of them you find. Uh, finding it, finding them all doesn't matter. Finding all the secrets doesn't matter. It, it's one of the, it's just kind of your standard, kind of a 
I mean, again, I think I, I would consider this probably a fan service uh, platformer. I mean, it's not a bad platform by any stretch of the term. I've seen worse. This one actually handles pretty well. It handles better if you uh, if you turn your cycle speed up because there are a couple of levels where it's possible. So you notice right there, we got a grill down there that you can see through. That is actually the difference. There's grills you can see through, grills you can't. The grills you can't obviously are nothing, but if you if you fall into the ones that you can see through, they, they kind of denote secret passages, at least in this level. Um, you notice there's another fake wall there. You just kind of go behind, climb back up, grab that, grab the weapon. Not that it matters because at the end of every level, you see this exit. At the end of the level, you get you get your you get bonus points, 500 points for every one. You can hit a button to speed it up, collect key, and we're on to the next level. So uh, it's just this is kind of a simple linear world map. There's no like literally it is 100% linear. You will go like. You go to the next level. There's no variation in the level itself. Um, but yeah, basically, it's just, like I said, standard platformer. Um, the first levels, like that first level seems to be more like an introductory level where you, uh, where you kind of learn how to play the game and get a little bit of, like you get stuff. Um, as I said before, the weapon, if you notice I had to pick up a new weapon, and there's generally there's one at the beginning of every level, but you don't keep your weapons between levels, ever. I don't know why, you just don't. Uh, there are checkpoints, as you see, there's, there's this oak spinning OK button, it was a, or a spinning OK post, it was, where it was flat, it was just a flat uh, signpost before. That is your one checkpoint in the level. Uh, most levels only have one about halfway through. Uh, if you want the nice thing about this game is this is a unlimited lives game. You can't game over um, All you can do is um, You'll you can if you die you go straight back to the to the check to the checkpoint if you got it Or if you didn't get it you go back to the beginning of the level That's those are your options um, on easy um, There's not very much you don't need to worry too much about missing out on, uh, like missing, like you can take, you can damage boost like mad, and you see a lot of these mini, like the miniature health pots or the giant health jugs. Um, those are around a lot of places. Uh, in the harder difficulties, there are fewer of those, those safeties. Uh, this isn't really, like, I'm not really trying to like speed run this thing. Uh, but you notice we just got new music, and the enemy sets changed slightly. We still have these uh, kind of walking, like, I don't know what to call them, like, like, like they've got gills and stuff, and you've got these orange, like, phenomena type uh, duty duty things there. Um, that right there, I think that's a stove, but I yeah, it always looks to me like it's like it's a guy with a pipe sticking out of his mouth and he's smoking while hanging his head out the window. And it's like I'm just like that doesn't make any sense to me. Like it's always looked like that, and I'm like, why is there just some random dude periodically just sticking his head out? And we now have a new weapon. Uh, you can pick up that, and it is a it's a arcing uh, bomb. So, uh, in this area there, you notice there's now doors you can go in. Uh, this one is actually meaningless. There's, you have, the only reason to come in here is to collect more, more stuff, uh, points. So, in this game, there's, there, you get these little things that don't give you any, you don't get any points when you pick up the, uh, the ship parts. You don't get any points when you, uh... Like, you don't get any points when you pick up the ship parts. You don't get any points when you, uh, pick up weapons and stuff. The only, the points you get are for picking up the fruit. I don't know why we have to, why the, why they, uh, chose fruit other than because they could. Like, I don't know. Maybe the vinyl goss need, like, maybe she needs to eat. Uh, I'm actually skipping the, uh, skipping the, the little, uh, or the weapons to kind of show off the different the different weapon since it 
it is, I mean, it is different. Uh, I'll pick up this since there's another throw, throw bomb here in a moment that I don't really... Not that it matters, because we're actually almost at the end of this level. But we'll just continue on. We'll pick up the throw. We'll pick up the bomb. And jump. Or, I mean, just. This is like, again, standard platforming. Just jump across. There's a. Right here, end of the level. They have a little another secret area you can go into. I almost overshot that and uh, fell off the side, which would have been funny just because I would have had to go through all that again. Uh, so here we are. Final level of the first area. There's actually two areas. And. There isn't much, uh, again, it's not linear, it's all linear, there's no, there's no choice in where, in where you go. It's that illusion of choice. Um, again, like, that's just kind of the MO of this game, there's, it, it, it gives you illusion of choice, but they're, they're, like, every level is very linear. Um, it looks like you can go a lot of places, and you can, but most of the time they end at a dead end. Um, nice little trick here, you can actually jump up and throw uh, bombs backward, and if you throw them at the right time, I just killed an enemy up there. And one nice thing about this is that once you've killed an enemy in the level, it is gone for the rest. Like, you, won't, you will not see that enemy in the level again. Actually, I'm going to actually pick up the daggers because the daggers are, while the bombs are okay, the daggers are better. But as you can see, like the, the weird pair-like uh, things are 500 points. And they're actually, if I recall, they're the, they're the best uh, point fruit in the game. Uh, rings are like, I like I'm thinking that the, the now that I think about it, I think actually the fruit and the uh, and the rings and stuff are her are her possessions. Like, so now we're in a whole new area. You notice the music's just changed again, and we now have ninja stars as our weapon. And so, for the at least for this section, you'll get ninja stars. You can pick up uh, blue cherries, some. Uh, Melons. There's strawberries worth 500 apiece. Now, the, like, like the stuff you're finding in the, in the zones are now like different. They're, so, they're slightly different. Obviously, the ship parts stay the same, but other than that, like, you find stuff. You notice I picked up a key. There's a. I need a blue key. I thought I picked up the blue key. Maybe I missed it. Uh, this actually happens a bit. Uh, you should just need to come, like, like, okay, so there was something there. I know why, I know why I missed the blue key. Because I had the red key that I picked up, and so you come out here, and there's the blue key. But you notice I also found a secret in secret, without even really trying. I wasn't even going for it. Uh, so we'll go down and pick up those three points. Not, again, points. This is kind of like, uh, Whose Line Is It Anyway, where, uh, the game's made up. The game's very linear, and the points don't matter. Uh, they're just there, like, there's no high, I don't think there's a high scoreboard or anything. It is literally just a gimmick to have a gimmick. Um, I'm just gonna jump up there, but I'm not going to now. Uh, we'll hit this, we'll hit that signpost. Well, uh, one nice thing about the projectiles in this game is that they are destructible, for the most part. Um, basically, almost any, uh, projectile can be killed. Uh, the eyeballs, if you notice, I, like, the eyeballs did some damage to me. Uh, their projectiles can be killed too, but they are very, very, um, tough. I shouldn't say very tough, they're just, they have a lot of, like, you, I think it's like two or three hits per, and they don't, la like, obviously their, proje their projectiles are flying at a decent rate of speed, so you're n most likely not going to kill it before it hits you and and that's all she wrote so we just kind of I just kind of ignore them damage boost through them um, there's a lot of times where I will actually like in, like on this difficulty there's some damage boost you can go through just kind of get away like you, like to be honest most of the time 
it, you can damage boost or everything. Like I just did a practice run of this before I created this, before I started this video, and the uh, and I died once in the whole run, and I haven't played like up to this point. I haven't played this game in a while. Uh, this is kind of a mindless, mindless silliness. Um, at one point, I actually thought about submitting this. Submitting or submitting stuff, uh, to, like putting an application to uh, to submit this game, become a GM for Kuso, for Kuso Grande, and because I mean, this game is pretty Kuso in the sense. I, I mean, it's so like I would say that it's pretty dumbed down. Like it, this is a dumbed down platformer, and. I mean, besides, considering it's it's kind of dumbed down, it's really linear, and it's very, very fan y Like, I call it fan y in the sense that, I mean, I'm sorry, when your protagonist is basically half naked, and that's her whole appeal. <laughs> and I might say that a few times during this. I'll try not to repeat myself too. But yeah, so, uh, you know, so there's a key over there. Um, I don't think, I think that uh, that's actually the next area. Look up, just why not? Come through here, we got the weapon at the, at the full health, even though I didn't really need it. So we get the key, and then we'll just climb on up, and I believe that this. Climb on up, head on over, and there's our key door. You notice the exit's right above it. Checkpoint right next to the exit, but as you can see, I can't jump up there. Uh, that's because you have to go through the rest of the level to actually get up there high enough to be able to get to the exit. Uh, there's no cheese. There's no like that is one thing I would give the devs credit for on this. Uh, there's no cheese to really uh, where you don't where you can bypass mechanics. Uh, like, vinyl has a very, very uh, strict uh, jump height, and she is not going to jump any higher, no matter how much you want her to, unless you use like a platform like this, or if you, unless you jump up a higher. Like, if you jump off high, then you can get a bit more distance because of lateral distance, but. But let's grab the second key there. We'll come up here, and now I'm actually on the on the floor where I can actually, uh, where I'm hot up above where the exit is. And I can sit here and do this, and I believe, yep, there, as you can see, there's a moving platform. You wouldn't know until you waited. If you jumped off right there, you do that, and then just like normally, you just kind of jump off. And that is that level. Now we continue along the way, and there's another one, and. New music. <laughs> it's always a good. Th I I do have to say that I do like the music in this game is actually really good for what it is. I mean, this is mid '90s. Um, I'm not gonna waste my time climbing up there. Uh, but yeah, this is mid '90s uh, DOS. Uh, so I mean, this is coming out about like I want to say I want to say uh, this was. I, now that I think about it, it may not have been 95 when this game came out. Like, I, th I thought it was 95, but, like, it might have been 94 or, or even late 93. Um, I mean, I remember playing this as a, as a little kid. Like, my dad, my dad got at least the shareware version of this game. And me and my siblings would always uh, play it. Um... We always gave it. We always gave it a Star Wars, Star Wars reference because, like, our save games when we'd have to stop and quit would always be let the Wookiee win. Which, I mean, obviously, it was just kind of a silly, silly joke because, well, we were silly nerds. Actually, we all still are. But that's beside the point. There's nothing wrong with that. But uh, 
come around here. I just, because I believe there's actually a key over here. <laughs> yep, I was right. That, that, this is something for this game. Like, they've got a lot of secret areas that serve no purpose, but they've also, other than to get either find more, like, to find more stuff or points or whatever, but they also have, like, you do have to go through a lot of parts of the levels to get stuff. Um, that makes it really useful. That helped Jug to come at a better time. So, come up here, we grab this blue key. Blonde jump down, take the, get the checkpoint, just kind of ignore everything there. Come around here, and... Now we're on to another kind of, another, another set of platforming. Nice thing is like these these like it does take into account like your like where you're at all that all that stuff, and if you decide to move while the platform's moving and stuff, if you try to do it while it while obviously while it's moving towards you, it'll get closer. You'll be able to get it. If it moves away from you, you won't. You'll, it'll it'll do that. And if you see me stopping stopping stuff, it's probably because I'm probably like scratching my eye or something. Uh, yeah, so actually you just noticed I just missed a key. Uh, I noticed I just realized that so I got to drop back down here um, I almost took some spikes to the face um, Spikes are actually very interesting in this game So the spikes you see down here that kind of go that like extend and retract extend and retract Those ones just do one damage and they are subject to your iframes uh, There are other spikes in levels where that are just fixed to the ground that actually are, uh, that do damage every second. Like you do, it, they do like one damage every second. And so it's actually a really easy way to death warp. There's actually a couple places in the game where you could death warp with, the, with reasonable stuff. So now we get new music and new enemy sets and everything and new weapons. Um, I'm gonna come over here. I'm just showing off a few like little secrets. Like you can tell the difference. You notice there's a, there's a grill bar here that's just black. You, you notice there, you, there's no way you can get behind that. Then you have the grill bar on the on the wall here that look that you can see through. And if I jump up into it, you can see see me through it. And obviously that's how you can tell secret passages. That's probably the easiest way. There are some times where you won't be able to find it. But now I have a fireball. This weapon is very actually unique because up to this point. When you uh, get a fireball, like when you get a weapon, it'll just be whatever you, uh... like whatever you pick up, and you'll just you'll just throw like one or two or whatever. Apologize for that. I had to sneeze, so I better I figured I better mute it up so I uh, didn't sneeze all over the the thing but yeah so yeah back to the fireball it's actually very special oh, hey i just died so we'll get more time to talk about the fireball it's actually so fireball is a very special weapon uh you when you get it as you can see i'm like when i get it you can i'm throwing one fireball now normally with other weapons like with other weapons you pick them up and you get you'll see that it'll just refill your weapon ammo but nothing really different happens with fireballs they're a little different. I'm just going to run through the spikes. Why not? That's just damage boost. Why not? Um, but as you can see, I get the second fireball. Uh, I don't want to do that. I do not want to die and go back to... Uh, so yeah, if you die, you go back to start. Wanted to show that off just so you can see the difference. Between the da between stuff where you, where you can damage boost and where you can't. But uh, yeah. But now that I've got two, got picked up a second fireball, I can now throw two fireballs at one time. Now I need to drop down here because I know that there are two switches down here to flip. Uh, the first time I actually played this earlier today during practice, I didn't. Now, how are you supposed to know that secret passage is there? You're not. You just have to try. That is actually something they kind of did in the game too. Was like there's a lot of secrets that you just have to play to. But you got some new enemies, like this this weird eyeball guy. 
he get he speeds up when he sees you. I tend to refer to him as like kind of like the creepy old man who who's chasing who's lusting after the uh, the eye candy. Uh, your mileage may vary. Your interpretation may vary. He might just be going, ooh, fresh meat. I don't know. I mean, uh, again, with the context of the game being what it is, it just seems fitting that it's more, like, I, I felt it, like that thing is, that thing is really creepy. It's been, like, it creeped me out as a little kid, so maybe that's why. Uh, but now that I've picked up a third fireball, I now can throw three fireballs, and that is the maximum. You cannot get any more than three fireballs. Uh, however, now, like, whenever I find a fireball weapon, which, any, everything here, uh, you will, like, I will, ju it'll just refill my weapon energy. So, um, we'll continue on here. So, one thing to point out is that this, this is actually one of three did, like there, as you saw at the beginning, there were three episodes to this game, and then, so I like decided it's a really good idea to just go take a dip in the, in the spikes, lose health unnecessarily. So we'll get a health, we'll refill my weapon, and get a key. But yeah, there are three three episodes in this. Um, this is just ep I mean, what I'm showing here is episode one. This is all this is all a show. For this, uh, however, if this does, uh, if this is accepted or whatever, uh, I'm open to playing the other episodes. I may not have as much practice on them, but I mean, this game is really simple, and there's a lot of. I mean, there's they, they actually reward kind of exploration, whether it's by points or just by advancement in the level. If you if you can look around and try to find stuff. But the, yeah, like, so, yeah, hitboxes, what are those? Um, there's actually points where if you, you could be in a, you could be inside a creature's hitbox without taking any damage, as long as you, like, move perfectly with them. And we're at the end of this level. And then we'll continue on to this level. Which is the last level of this of this episode? I uh, will start down here. I uh, uh, mean, super fast. You find the you find a key and again as normal. You you don't you have to start from scratch with your weapon. I don't understand why like they did this. Um, unless each level was made as kind of its own standalone, and they didn't want to figure out a way to to do this. I'm gonna pick up stuff. You can see there's the exit right over there. However, it's gonna be a while before we get there. Uh, not too long, but just a little bit. Yeah, but yeah, some of the advantages of these weapons, like, because I'm. It shoots stagnantly up, I can do that. Um, I, I jump. I always jump off just because. And of course, I die right there. See, damage boosting's fine. You, like, I, yeah, I just kind of scratch my head at what, at the decision they made, because your health stays between levels, but your, uh, weapon goes away, which, eh, we'll give a little slide. You can't, you can never slide off the, off there, uh, you just kind of, you, like, you can never, like, slide off a ladder or, uh, off a rope chain whatever but yeah the uh, it's just again kind of just a weird game fun little, fun little game I enjoy I enjoy playing it on occasion uh, again it's very very simple so I mean it's not like Replayability is really, really, I'd be the purview of a speedrunner. Uh, I don't speedrun this game, but that's only because I haven't tried. Uh, as a matter of fact, I don't think there are any boards. <laughs> because nobody speedruns this game. Uh, it, this is just one of those unknown 
uh, little gems that... I mean, I call it a gem. It might be cubic cir... <laughs> like zirco cubic zirconia or whatever, but... It's a little gem. Oh, I missed the elevator. This is the one downside to these kind of platformers. Uh, you miss the boat once and fall, and you are you have to run all the way back around. And so, it's actually better for you to wait for the cycle to come through before you do this. We'll jump across. And as, as you can see, I hit the I hit the the projectile, but it did it did like no damage to it. Um, I'm waiting for that fireball to go by so I don't die, get the full health, um, probably should just damage boost it. I'll just get you damage boost all the way there. As you can see, if you, if you damage boost and go straight into the thing, you're done. So that is the end of episode one. So now we have the, the, the finale of episode one. After a long and perilous trip, the Vinyl Goddess finds the wreckage of her ship. She was fortunate to find most of her belongings. After inspecting the damage to her ship, she made a terrible discovery. The damage was more serious than she had originally thought. The hot plasma injector and the thrust coil recompensator were thrown clear of the ship in re-entry. Without these two vital components, the ship is not capable of flight. The only option is to continue to search this dangerous planet and recover the objects before it's too late. Boldly, the Vital Goddess sets out through jungles, deserts, and mysterious alien ruins to find the missing pieces. Calling all space cadets, journey on to the Caverns of Chaos to help our heroine out of this sticky situation. <laughs> and that is that is episode one. Um, before I go on, we're, there's a nice little thing here called Order Info. So this is what they gave you when you when they offered to like if they want like if you wanted to get the game when from the shareware and stuff this is how they enticed you so you come on and like hey help the final goddess get the convention time so this game cost 30 bucks american with four bucks shipping and handling and, but it came with the entire game and it probably would have been on three by 3.5 floppies maybe cd if you're lucky uh, it came with a full color poster of the real vinyl goddess, uh, a, a detailed manual, and tons of new graphics, music, and sounds. I would expect that to happen if I'm getting the full game. I'm sorry. However, there's a nice little phone number you, we, that can be called. I don't advise calling it because I don't think it's it's up it's up anymore. But you do you. Uh, you come over and it tells you, hey, you can. They even got these nice little Mastercard and Visa logos you could actually fax them the form you it, it was 42 bucks canadian <laughs> and you i mean so like this you logic software publishing was in was is was in uh ontario canada and you can even call and place an order you can do all that um if you wanted to find their latest software you can actually go to uh the uh the site the website or the BBS, for all you BBS lovers out there. With the different bonds. And there's a sample picture of what you would get. A full color pinup of the real vinyl goddess. Yeah. Uh, and then some graphics from the, from the next game. So you can see the, the finned, the weird guild, fire breathing fish guy still around. But you got this flying skull. Uh, and she's actually rope climb. She's actually climbing across uh, monkey bars. You come over here. You got this running around fish dude. She's falling onto a bridge that's going over nowhere. Uh, nice little overhead of the world map. And then if you live outside the United States, here is where you what you can call. Uh, so they've got, as you can see here, Argentina, Belgium, Chile, the Czech Republic, Germany, Denmark, Italy. Japan, South Africa, the Netherlands, Norway, Spain, the United Kingdom. Those are all places you, that, where they had had distributors. And they have some of these other projects that I've not actually looked into completely, but it'd be interesting to look into them sometime. 
But this is like you got Reddix into the void, you got Tactical Factor. Very interesting. Coming spring 1995. Like I, I don't know. I'd. Ha I mean, the fact that Tactical Factor runs at 70 FPS, that is like it's as fast as soon as you can go on an IBM PC. If this tells you anything, this was right before Windows 95 came out. So they were probably thinking, hey, we could do this. Great. So um, with that, I am going to uh, call this done. So uh, thank you for watching. If you like what you saw, please bop that subscribe button. Uh, appreciate it and uh, have a wonderful day.